Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be working on clearing some of my land. I've got this section of property that is unusable. It's really overgrown and I'm going to be turning it into this today. So stick around and I'll show you guys how I do that. So I've got half acre, maybe close to an acre of land that needs to be cleared out. It's mixed with a ton of thorns, tall weeds, and small trees. We're going to start off seeing how far we can get with the weed whackers in just a day. So my friend brought over his, I've got mine, he's going to use a through tooth weed whacker blade on his, I'm using this saw blade on mine. They work for different purposes really well. The saw blade cuts through small trees while that three blade will cut down brush, really tall weeds and things like that. We ended up spending about three or four hours down here weed whacking and clearing this out. It's just so thick that it was really slow going. This is definitely possible if you want to just whittle away at your land and clear it out. A weed whacker will work. I'm actually going to rent a piece of equipment to speed this up. Home Depot has a brush hog like this. These are relatively common so if you go to your local tool rental they should have one of these available. Now I'm going to rent this for a day and see how far I can get with this as well. This is self-propelled, it has a couple gears forward and then a reverse as well. So that really does help, but that doesn't mean it's going to be just super easy to follow it around and it just pulls you and goes where you want it to go. I actually found out that this is a lot more difficult, especially if it's really thick thorns or brush. It pretty much was lifting the brush hog up off the ground as it was trying to plow through it. So you actually had to back up and go at it again and keep trying to chop it down in some places where it was really thick. So it still just jerks you around, it's a lot of work, but it goes so much faster than just a couple weed whackers out here. A brush hog like this is still very limited on the size that you can cut down. It, I believe it's anything up to two inches it can push over and chop up. Anything bigger than that, you're still gonna wanna use either a saw or something to cut through that. So I'm taking my chainsaw and thinning out all the trees around so that the brush hog can easily go through here and not have to worry about mowing around those trees. Another thing to keep in mind while you're doing this, you're obviously going to want to have some pants and long sleeves as well as gloves. If you're mowing through a ton of thorns like we've got here, it's just going to tear you up. It may seem obvious, but you'll want to make sure you're covered up because this brush hawk leaves you exposed to all those thorns as you're plowing right through it. Now this was a ton of work for several guys to do this. If you don't want to go out there and spend hours on end clearing out the land, you can talk to some uh, land clearing companies or landscaping companies. They may have these brush hogs on front of skid steers or on the back of tractors that can easily plow through all of this and make really quick work of something like this. Now I, my job probably would have taken maybe an hour or even under an hour to chop up that whole half acre of land if I had one of these. This option is going to be a lot more pricey obviously than just renting a small brush hog yourself and doing all the work yourself. But if you don't want to have to deal with that and spend hours on end clearing your land out and you just want to be done with it and not have to worry about it, definitely talk to some professionals about this and they'll clear out that land so fast. Alright, so here's the finished product of hours and hours of brush hogging and clearing this out. I now have usable land that I can take advantage of. Now I am limited in the height here, I have power lines that are going over this section of land, but I have a lot of options that I can do to take advantage of this space, so I'm going to be trying to think through those and maybe plant some crops and different things down in this open section. I do still have a section of land behind this up until a creek down here you can see this is all very overgrown, lots of vines, this stuff takes over where I live. If you don't keep your woods clear it will just completely overgrow and destroy the tree. So I'm going to try to clear out those vines eventually and have some nice open space back there as well. But now I have some space that I need to think of how to use it now that it's available. Alright guys, that just about finishes up the video for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button down below. 
I also look forward to hearing from you guys down in the comment section. Now, big thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for helping me create more of these videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll do a quick before and after so you can see the transformation of this space. But with that, I will see you guys in the next one.